What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa on the PC. As you can see, we are looking at a car that I'm going to be working on here. So I've been working on this 350 for a little bit, so I know we have to do some modifications. Not 100% on the wheels, and I think there's a little bit of an issue with the alignment of the wheels. They kind of wobble a little bit, but that's not going to affect how the car drives for today. We do have uh, some Mission Motors in the front, kind of reminiscent of Adam LZ's. 350Z, but this is a car I've been working on, having a little fun with. Going to be getting it fine tuned and getting it up for you guys to try. We got the Evil Rabbit Energy wheel in there, so we're going to be ripping this car here today. We are on the G920 again here for today's episode with the original OG mint green narrow chrome wheel. So for sake of space and the shifter hitting the wheel, we do have it set with two rubber bands so that it is basically just up, up, down, down. We are still using a clutch, but it's almost like a sequential dog box. So I've done that a long time before in my videos and stuff like that. So we're gonna be doing that here for today. So we're gonna take this 350Z for a rip, and I think we're gonna take it to Hunter Park 2015. I was having a little fun with Hunter Park. There's a nice wall ride that I'm gonna try to get. So we're gonna go drift this 350Z at Hunter Park. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll be found in the description box below. And uh, make sure you tap that subscribe button. I do appreciate the support. And then maybe we'll hop online and see if we can't find some random session to get some tams with with the G920 with the mint green and narrow chrome OG wheel. So if you guys have been a long time of the channel, you guys know for sure about this. The G920 with this wheel was like the staple of my channel. So we're back on it here for today by request. So let's... Uh, Let's uh, adjust some stuff here. I think we're gonna bump it up to competition tires. Drop some tire pressures. From what I remember when I was testing it before, like I said, the back wheels are gonna be a little bit wobbly apparently, but it doesn't affect how the car drives. It's just the model is not correct. So we do have our indicators on the bottom. As you can see, the wheels are a little bit wobbly. But it's not going to affect how the car drives, so let's send it here at Hunter Park in my 350 on a G920, kick it in third gear, there we go. Throw it in. You can definitely see the wheel wobble when uh, the pivot cam's engaged. Little left foot brake, there we go. Quick hand brake flick. Clutch kicked that one out. There we go. Ooh. How are we going to lose that? Gonna pull the handbrake there to flick it back around. So, Z does handle very cool. It's about 500 horsepower. So, it's definitely a very fun car to drive. And I've been enjoying it a lot. It's a little bit of a wall ride. We need to get closer on that wall. Famous last words of myself. So if you guys are enjoying the G920 content, let me know down in the comments. We're going to go through the track for a minute. But we're good. It's almost like a sand trap. We're definitely way off that wall. So we need to bring ourselves up closer to that wall. So we're going to run another lap here. Definitely been having a lot of fun going back here to the G920. But it does feel so much better with the 350 NRG wheel. So, like I said, if you guys are a long time on the channel, you guys know this rim and this wheel combo have been a staple of this channel since the beginning. Pretty much since a couple episodes in, we switched to the, you know, NRG wheel. So, it's definitely cool to be back and, you know, building these cars and having some fun with it here on Santa Corsa. So, the wheel has definitely grown back on me, as you can see. I'm kind of more fluent than I was last episode with the factory wheel but of course the bigger rim does give you a little bit of a better feel oh just a wall tap and like I said for sake of space and the way my rig is set up we do have just it set sequential we are still using the clutch though it's almost it's weird how the car just disappears kind of so I'm definitely liking how the car is handling recently. Oh, wrong shifter. How this Z has come out with the, uh, you know, front missing, kind of, like I said, reminisce Adam LZ Z. 
but my own little take on it, different bash bars that I've built in the front and everything like that, with the Mishimoto's and everything like that. It's kind of a cool little uh, Z to rip around because the goal is to hopefully have a real chassis here very soon in real life, and Z is definitely one that is on my mind. Am I going to get a Z? Who knows? Hopefully, all oh, that will be happening sometime soon, and I will be bringing that stuff to the channel as well. So I'm not 100% set on these wheels. Let me know what you guys think of the progress of the Z so far. Oh, ow, <laughs> and what you guys think about the OG NRG wheel and rim back here on the channel. Ooh. And I know a lot of people probably don't notice, but this is a left-hand drive Z. There's not many left-hand drive Zs in a set of courses. I mean, a lot of them are Japanese right-hand drive, so it's definitely a little bit different. So like I said, I'm going to be getting this car fully dialed in so that we can get it up and allow you guys to take it for a spin yourself. It's not public yet, but once I get the wheel issue figured out and the physics and everything like that, maybe some uh, liveries and stuff like that, we will get this up in public for you guys to take a rip if you guys want to drive it yourselves. Car doesn't need much handbrake. We may have to put some grippier tires or lower the power down because this car slides a lot. Especially on those 205s, we may have to get rid of the 205s because I don't think I'm ever going to run this car on 205, especially with this power. So I think we're going to switch it up, maybe go try and find some tandem sessions and get some tandems with the G920. We're probably going to be looking at maybe an all coast bash server or something with the Tando Buddies cars because that seems to be what everybody's running. But we are going to go see about maybe throwing some random tandems with the G920 here on a set of Corsa. One last attempt at a wall ride. Oh, that was a wall graze. And that was way too early, but we're good. All right, let's go check out and find a session and see what we All can right. do. So we did find a session here. We're gonna try and jump in some tandems here at Drift Playground in some tandem buddy cars. And I'm starting to notice why a lot of people like the tandem buddy cars for G920s and stuff like that. So tandem buddy cars are very smooth and floaty on the wheels and it doesn't strain the wheel too much with front grip because they are not really numb feeling as much as easily driving. So it doesn't put much strain on say a G920 or G29 or something like that. It doesn't put much strain on the wheel. So I could see why a lot of people try and drive these cars because well it's just it's kind of easy on the wheel. We're trying to throw tandems here. Oh my gosh. If I slow down way too much there. Sorry, dude. So a little bit of nostalgia coming back with the mint green Neo Chrome NRG wheel here. Getting tandems. The ultimate nostalgia would be if I took this back to Forza Horizon 3 because that is <laughs> kind of where this this channel and this wheel kind of came about and that's where everything went from there. Like I said, if you guys are long time long time subscribers to the channel, I'm just beating this guy up. Long time subscriber to the channel, you guys will know this wheel and the setup. It's a little bit different now because I'm on the Fantec pedals and handbrake, but it's still kind of there. The nostalgia feel is definitely there. Man, I can't get, I can't, uh, can't seem to get tandems today. We're trying. There we go. Kind of bashing into that man too. It felt kind of bad. So, like I said, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all the Trump description box below. I got bashed into there. And as always, I like to thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. 
I'll see you guys on the track. <laughs>